middle of the street down here and uh, gonna blue light him and try to find out what's going on with him and try to see what the problem is. Sam, George, I'm gonna be at uh, Beeler and uh, Carnell. Yeah. Yo, he's trying to run, he's trying to run. Start small units over here. Be ready, cause he gonna block. Okay, he turned on Cleveland, sir. Cleveland, sir. Cleveland, sir. Okay, I got a car. He's uh running in front of me. He look like he's finna lose. Oh, he just lost it. Radio starter for over here. Let me get out. Try to see if I can get. Where's that? Huh? Get out! 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 Get Get out! Start a fall over here, radio. To my location, I got a female over here screaming. The car flipped over. Radio, I don't know. Okay, I'm right down here, right up the street from the uh, palace. Get up. Get up. Get up. You ain't hurt. You big enough to run. Yeah. I got you, wife. Let's go. Got this guy here. Uh, Tim tried to do a traffic stop. He he wanted to run from me. Driving all crazy, lost yeah. control. Driving because he didn't have any license. It's just, I can't believe it. I can't believe he made it this far. Yeah. Here's her shoes. He got his pants in there. It's no Rick. pants in the big. Evidently, he drove down here uh, completely nude. He drove down there with no pants. There's no pants in the big or nowhere. The insurance car, we got the weapon right there. Okay. Um, but it's no, no pants in there. No pants in the big. What happened? You got a cut elbow and a cut back. She says Buddy pulled up with his uh, pants already off. Threw a pistol on her face and abducted him. That's what he did? Not 49. She said that you rolled up and saw him uh -huh. before he got to a location 249 or and then right. he fled. Uh -huh. That's what happened? Okay, we looked inside the car. We didn't see no pants at all, so it's none. No, she said he drove up. He didn't up. have any on when he I got in the car. Up. Naked uh -huh. from the waist down, threw a gun on her, right. forced her into the car, but there was no 49 because you you got to her before that happened. Okay. Well, that's good. That's good. You got in the uh... But just imagine that car flipping off like they... <laughs> yeah, you lucky. You real lucky. Yeah, that's when he seen him. Then yeah. he just started and he got right now. He was slowing down. He said, I'm just going to go. He just so said, as, as soon as he pulled up, he pointed the gun and said, get in the car. Get I'll shoot car. you or get in the car. I'll said, kill get you. Get in the car. I'll kill you. What, what is you to do? If all his clothes were in there, it may just be a routine prostitute pickup deal. But by him riding around naked from the waist down, fresh stolen car, it, it, it's good. It's a good lick. So, ain't no telling. He probably would have killed her after whatever else. It right. done so, so it's a good lick. Good lick. Suppose we've got an individual that broke into the uh, school and he's not clothed. Now they got a crowd for him and they're calling for assistance. Come on, get out of here. You said you might be out in the house. Come on out of there. No, he's gonna screw you. Hey, man, what are you doing? Rodney King. 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 
people working actually uh, we got one of the squads that's involved in a room set up uh, and when we do those uh, operations we're specifically targeting uh, alcohol entertainment dancers uh, the services when he is a couple of detectives as, uh, as the undercovers uh, a male detective and also one of our female detectives posing as a husband wife hi I'd like to see about having someone come up to me uh, my husband Jeez, I don't know. What kind of choices do? Yeah, there's a girl in the phone book that looks pretty. Um, she's blonde. Okay, thanks. Well, what did they say? She said 150 tipping is appreciated. Really? Yeah. Cool. Let's see what happens now. She's gonna lay it all out, don't you think? Here we go. One more second. Just so we have them okay. Oh, yeah. We know her. Who's that? We know her from the barrage. We just got her last week. Wow. She's beautiful. Beautiful. This is what we talked about before, isn't it? Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 So she can go for three counts of soliciting, and she can go for conspiracy to commit fraud. on West 25th Street here where some male is disturbing and they got a second call stating that uh, he's removing his clothing. Looks like he's still in there. You got no clothes on now? Oh, no. Oh, no, look at this. What are you doing? Uh, what happened? You tell me. Well, I, I, get it, get it, well, I, Does he do this often? Yeah. Is he ever been in here before? He was in here yesterday. I had to chase him out. Today, when I asked him to leave, he wasn't leaving. He came in and he's drunk with the hell. And then he got the first time. He got everybody in the bar. Now he sat there and then he decided to strip. Let it all hang out. 
George. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> all right. Where you want to go to the motel? People will accept me. Jail. They'll accept you there, believe me. You know, You'll fit right in. Come on. Go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, uh, the heck with it. Come on. Bail me out. Come on. All right. Okay, uh, we got a manager of an apartment complex down here, or a hotel down here, is advising that he has a female lady that was dropped off. Uh, it's causing a great disturbance down here. She's highly intoxicated and hanging off the balcony up here and kicking people's doors. We're going to get her back up down here and check her out. Why don't you tell me what happened? Do it. I'm to go home. Okay, how did you get down here in the first place? I got my own car. You got your own car? Where's your car at? I don't know where it's at. You don't know where it's at? You've been drinking? You've been taking any drugs tonight? I can tell no, you've been drinking. I've been drinking, yes. I've worked right the street. What kind of drugs? Yes, I've been drinking. What kind of drugs are you trying to buy tonight? I've been trying to buy no drugs. What kind of drugs are you trying to buy? I just want to go home. Back here. Sheila. No. Good. We'll just put you in handcuffs in if you want to act like this. No, oh, please take me home. Cooperate with me and we'll get you home. All right, fine. Settle down. Please, I'm going to go. Please. I need so they, cage. Can I cage. arrest me? You get me over here so you guys can have some on. Please, you guys, come on. I'm not getting that clutch. You guys got something you guys can have. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Please, take me home. We're going over here to address on Prairie Lane. Currently, there's an assault that took place. Sounds like we have a party that's over there injured. Also, a uh, court of a white male took off running southbound that was nude. So we're going to go over here and back up this officer. She over, she's over here by herself. 40.79, 
You have to put your top on. You have to put your top on. Ma'am, okay, you understand that we do enforce laws out here as far as nude sunbathing. Okay, it is topless. Huh? We're not so much angry with you as much as we want you to know that occasionally men will see this and want to trickle on up here and some of these men will have alcohol and then it presents a problem to us that we end up having to deal with. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day. Good job, Corey. Yeah, thanks, Polly. If there's alcohol involved, then it becomes a problem. You should probably try to flip over real quick as we approach. She still doesn't know we're here yet, but she won't know any minute we're here. She still doesn't know we're here. We're going to go right by her. Watch her do a quick flip. Or... Ma'am, hello? You're going to have to put your top on, okay? Ma'am, you're going to have to put your top on. Beverly Ann La Jolla. Beverly Thank you. Have a nice day. Well, this is Mardi Gras time, and these people own these buildings. They have a right to come out on their balcony. And uh, we just ask that cooperation. We really want everybody to have a good time and enjoy Mardi Gras, but we want to try to do it safely. And if they just stop for a few minutes and let the crowd clear out of the street and cooperate, they can have a good time, and we can get our job done, too. Let's keep moving. Pickpockets in the crowd. We got pickpockets in the crowd. Talk to you. Hey George, how you doing? How are you? Bring those people in off the balcony right now. They all off. They all off? Yeah. Okay. Well, get them out of here. I want to talk to everybody. Okay, everybody's all together? Let me explain the situation to you. This is Mardi Gras. We want you to have a fantastic time. Okay? Technically it is against the law what you all are doing. However, I could care less. But we have a problem and we need your cooperation. Here's the bottom line. When you're on that balcony, that street stops. And when that street stops, it gets clogged up. The pickpockets have a field day and the fights break out. And that causes us to get hurt and have to go into that crowd. What I want you to do is, and what I'm asking you to do is, if you go out on the balcony, when you see it starting to get a little heavy, or if you've been out there for 10 or 15 minutes, walk in for five. Let them move again. So we can keep it moving. Okay? okay. As long as we don't just clog it up. That's right. what I'm asking. I'm, right. That's what I'm asking you to do. Yeah, we're not we're, saying we had that agreement stop. with the hotel. That's all we can we want. continue on kind of cutting up. Absolutely. Right. You and know, give them five minutes. They have to be able to move. And what happens is they stop and they get worked into a frenzy and it gets worse and worse and worse and worse. And then the fights start and the pickpockets are having a field day out there. They love it when that crowd's looking up and not paying attention. They go right through the back of the crowd. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Good enough. Okay. Thank you. Y'all have a good Mardi Gras. Okay? Just take, you need a break anyway, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, George, you have a good one. And don't get too out of hand, okay? Because I know how you are. By the way, you're very, very attractive. Lady. <laughs> yes, he enjoyed it, okay? <laughs> 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunway, 132 in Bush, covers code 3. Air 2514, 10 transmit on tag 2. Okay, we'll go to code 3. 